what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about saw 11 in this video here again today we're going to be talking about the speculation correlation i'm starting to see arise because of james wan's recent comments about returning to the horror genre and the timing of when saw 11 was announced and association with this production weekly listing that has a very specific pair of names or set a, a name that I just completely overlooked when talking about the listing in my previous post. But James Wan recently had this to say when speaking with Collider about returning to horror potentially, saying, you know, I have a tendency to want to go back and forth. So whenever I make a smaller film, I want to go and make a big film. Whenever I'm doing a big one, I'm like, oh, I want to go and do a smaller film. And when I do my smaller films, it tends to be a horror film. So, you know, I feel like the itch for horror is potentially calling, but we'll see. Recently, we know this week, Saw 11 was announced, and so was its release date of next year, September 27, 2024. Josh Stolberg and Pete will not be returning to write, and we haven't heard who will be officially writing Saw 11 just yet. Stolberg doubled down, doubled down on his uh, post he had made five days ago with a new post going over the departure on Twitter after the announcement came, saying, got a slew of DMs today about the Lionsgate Saw announcement. Pete and I are sitting this chapter out, very excited to see this one as a fan of the franchise i think people will be pleased with the team this has sparked speculation though which could end up being something but i think it's nothing speculation about Wan directing saw 11 james Wan directing saw 11 would be fantastic to me but i don't think it's happening james Wan directing and i would guess you would expect lee Wanell to be back with the screenplay so you have that band back together both both of which i just don't see happening Pre production weekly's listing is driving the speculation because it does have atomic monster attached as a production company working on saw 11 but reliable reddit user vink 360 did remind us of this occurring in the past with saw x as well in response to a user who shared this production weekly listing on reddit vink says before people freak out here's some context this is a production list from production weekly not something released by Lionsgate or twisted the list is built by a third party and they just list his production company because he's attached to the project as an executive producer. The same thing happened with Saw X. Atomic Monster was also listed on that one. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but Atomic Monster ended up having no credit at the start of Saw X. I don't recall seeing that production company ever at the start of Saw X. In other words, he says, don't read into this as anything unusual. So Saw 11 is also listed to be in Toronto, so we'll wait and see how true that is. I did say in my last video that Vink was also the user who had dropped, who had who had the drop on Saw X being John Kramer centric and being set between one and three. So they have a reputation over there with their credibility. They had also shared that a TV show was allegedly being worked on with a writer's room being formed. With Josh and Pete gone, the only three writers I can safe, safely predict for now though in terms of what I can see happening with Saw 11 would be Kevin Grudert, Patrick Melton, and Marcus Dunstan. James Wan's involvement as of now seems to just be more of the same. An executive producer role, as for Stolberg's comments about people being pleased with the team, I mean, who is responsible for Saw 6, which seems to be one of the most beloved entries? Patrick, Marcus, and Kevin. And again, if I'm wrong on that, correct me, but I believe those three were the ones responsible. Patrick and Marcus, wrote kevin directed this is also what happened why people were so excited about him directing saw x because of the the love that saw six has so are they the team that's getting back together not james wan and lee winnell but the saw six creative team with kevin patrick and marcus time will tell i'm pretty sure pretty sure and confident that it will be them if it's newcomers then it's just newcomers if it's james wan then it's james wan but the timing of it all is reasonable to see why some people think it is going to be james wan i don't think it is because i do also want to again highlight he was talking about a potential return to the friend or to the genre if it was actually 100 percent going to be saw 11 unless there was something something preventing him from being able to talk about it i think he would have brought up saw 11 i sincerely think he would have brought it up i think what we're going to start seeing over the course of these months leading up to the release we'll get the confirmation that the creative team from saw six is back we'll get the confirmation obviously that one third of them kevin grudert is back directing and we'll get the confirmation of shawnee smith tobin bell you know the whole the whole shebang of what it would take to get everybody back in the seats 
to, for Saw 11 after the success that was Saw X. And I think it's just going to be the creative team of Saw 6 back that they're going to use to hype it up. Also correlating with the 20th anniversary of the original film. I don't think James Wan is directing, but if he is, that would be fantastic. Some of you, I'm, I would imagine, don't even want James Wan back. So if you don't want James Wan back directing, let me know why or why not down in the comment section below. Would you rather have him back or would you rather have the creative team behind Saw 6 back together once again for Saw 11? Let me know down below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.